Brother House, I pray the Lord will give you more time to adore you. Because you do belong here. The Lord brought you here many years ago. He really brought you here. He really did. 20 years ago. And uh, my goodness, that and not only do we want you to come, but we need one another. Yes. If all of you could follow me upstairs when I go to bed at night and I think about the church, I think about how much I need you. And uh, we should uh, cultivate kindness and tenderness in our hearts for one another. I believe God gives us lands of beginning again. Yeah. I'm glad that Achan was such an example to us. But look what God has done for us in the New Covenant. If Achan had grace in the Old Covenant, he could have been forgiven. But there was not grace for Achan. Thank God for Jesus, who brought grace. Now, because I have grace, I can be forgiven. I don't have to be stoned. What a difference Jesus makes. And let's cultivate kindness, tenderness with one another. Let's get used to telling each other we love one another. Let's get used to saying, I forgive you, I want to help you. And you say that to me, I'll say that to you. God bless you. And that's ministry for tonight. We're going to have a great day tomorrow. God is going to be good to us. Yes, He is. And uh, we're going to pray in the street, Brother John House and Sister Gloria House, their business. They uh, own a business called AYS, Edgar Service. It's a business they built from the ground up. It's a limousine service business. They take hundreds, thousands of people back and forth, to airplane destinations to other destinations, hotels. But they, they work day and night as a work day. It's a very, it's a very increasing business. So, business that is intense. You have to keep a lot of attention to it. And uh, drivers are not always easy to find to get to drive. Reliable drivers, safe drivers. And so let's pray for AYS tonight. God will give them more time. And uh, the Warriors has written a book Take some copies and leave it with us, your sister Gloria. And uh, I'm sure those that want it in the church uh, can get it. I, I read it on my trip to Michigan. It's a beautiful testimony of what God has done for her life from South Africa. She was born in South Africa. And coming to the United States, uh, finding uh, a new life. Her and John's meeting one another, marriage. He was associate pastor of Christ Assembly, Louisville, Kentucky, when they met. God's, God's good, isn't he? Amen. God's good. Amen. So let's pray for them. And uh, let's pray they'll get time to get back and be with us. So we'll look forward to a good day tomorrow. Joel, I appreciate that message. I appreciate all the messages Amen. of all the brethren. And you rise to your feet for the marvelous back of you and pray for you. And that's the, that's the beauty of this assembly. And each one can have a part. Each one. And when you're on your feet, we'll respect you, we'll love you. We just watch it. We ask each other to be in charity and watch the Spirit. Joel exemplified that tonight. He said, well, that's an hour right there. Watching the Spirit. But God used him to keep us some very good things. God's good to us. God's good to us. And praise God. Are you encouraged in the Lord tonight? Are you personally lifted up?
tonight. Let's go home singing tonight. Let's go home singing in our spirit tonight. Amen. Why don't we rise up together and let's sing a song of praise to the Lord. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Oh, Jesus, I love you. face shine upon you, and may you get a good night's rest, service 10.30 in the morning, a label 2 o'clock, don't forget to turn your clocks back, you know, you gained an hour tonight, it's not so late after all, amen, amen, turn to somebody and mix a mango, and the Lord bless you, real good, all right, get, get somebody around you,